Alright then gang, so now we've seen the basics of the grid system, I want to use it again to start our web page design for the ebook that I showed you at the start of this series. So our web page is going to have several different sections in it and I've marked those out as comments as you can see here so we can keep track of where we're putting all our code. So to begin with, we'll be working on the intro section at the top of the page just under the nav bar which we've not created yet. So this section is going to include some text on the left and an image on the right. So we're going to use a grid to space those two things out in a row. Now to begin with, I'm going to start every section, every different part of this website inside a section tag and I'm going to give each section an ID and that's so that later when we work on the nav bar we can scroll to those different sections using that ID inside an anchor tag. So this one is going to be intro and also I've created this little style inside the head where we're styling each of the sections because by default Bootstrap is not going to style those for us. I'm just giving each one a bit of padding to the top and the bottom. Now I could use classes if I wanted to but I wanted a specific 60 pixel value here instead. Okay so now we can get to work on the grid inside here. So first of all remember every grid goes into a container so let's create that container div.container and then this is going to contain the large breakpoint so remember that means it's going to be 100% in width until it reaches the large breakpoint at which point it's going to go into that central column kind of structure. Alright so inside the container we need a row so we'll say div.row also I'm going to give this some other classes I'm going to say justify content center we'll come back to another class later on to be honest for now I want to create the columns so we're going to have two columns on the left we're going to have a column of text to say what this is and on the right we're going to have an image so we'll say div and then dot col and md hyphen five and that means first of all it's going to be 12 columns in width for extra small size screens and then when it reaches the medium size screen getting bigger at that point we're going to have five columns of width for this element now also inside this I want to align the text to the center so text hyphen center we've seen this one before and also for small or rather for medium size screens and up we want to move that text to the left again so I'm going to say text hyphen md hyphen and then start so let me explain this again for small size screens the default is going to be in the center of this column of the text then as the screen gets larger when it reaches the medium breakpoint it's going to go to the left all right so we'll see that in action in a second inside it I want an h1 and inside the h1 two divs so a div and then I'm going to use the class display hyphen two to style this text and that's going to say black hyphen belt underneath that I'm going to do another div and that's going to be display hyphen five so slightly smaller text and that will say your coding skills like so I'm also going to apply text hyphen muted to this to make it more of a gray color so this will be darkish and this will be quite light gray all right then so let me save this for now just to preview this over here in the screen so we can see that it's taking up this section on the left if I inspect this right here then I notice that I've not spelt col correctly so let me do that and save it again and okay so now we can see that it's five columns in width this div right here now I also want to add in another column but before we do that in fact let's add some extra text underneath the heading so a p with a class of lead and also I'm going to say my hyphen four to give this some margin up and down and again text hyphen muted all right so I'm just going to say lorem eight for some text right here and then underneath that paragraph I'm going to do an anchor tag this is going to go to the pricing section later so we'll do the href to be hash pricing and then inside the anchor tag I'm going to say buy now like so now I want to give this some classes as well to style it like a button so remember we do the button base class then I'm going to say button hyphen secondary to give it that grey background colour and button hyphen large to make it a bit bigger alright so if I save this again and preview this is what it looks like okay so now let's do the content on the right and by the way this is sitting in the middle of the screen at the minute because we said justify content center and that justifies all the columns to be in the center remember 
Okay, so let me now come down here and do another div. And this div is going to have a class of col md 5 again, which means 12 columns on extra small screens. When it reaches the median breakpoint, it's going to be five columns in width. Also, we're going to say text hyphen center to centralize the image. It works on images as well. Okay, so then inside here, we want an image. So let's do the image tag. And the source is going to be from the assets. And we want the ebook cover. Oops, there's nothing in there at the minute. I thought I put them in. Obviously not. So let me try dragging those in. Drag them over there. Okay, so we want the ebook cover, which is this image right here. So the source is going to be forward slash assets, then forward slash ebook hyphen cover dot png. All right then. So the alt will just say ebook cover. Now, if I preview this, check it out. The image is huge, right? And as we make the browser smaller, then it doesn't get any smaller. So basically, it's coming out of the constraints of the column it's in. Now, in order to make this a fluid image, a responsive image, all we have to do is give this a class. So I'm going to say class is equal to fluid hyphen image. And then what that is going to do, oops, it's not fluid image, sorry, it's image hyphen fluid. And what that's going to do is make it 100% width of the parent element. So this thing right here. So it's going to take up all of those five columns in width. All right. So this is looking pretty good, right? But notice this, when we get to really small screens, it just doesn't look right on smaller screens. So what I want to do is display this as none for slightly smaller screens. And then when we get to medium sized screens and up, then we can display it as block. So to do that, we can say D hyphen none. So that means it displays none by default on smaller screens. Then I'm going to say D hyphen MD hyphen block. And that means display as block when we get to medium sized screens and up. So now for smaller screens, it shouldn't show on the page. And for large ones, it does like that. Pretty good, right? And also notice the text we said over here text center, which is the case for smaller screens, all the text is in the center, right? Then when it gets to the medium size breakpoint, it goes to the start, which is the left. So let's see that in action. Yep, it goes over to the left now, it's left aligned. All right, cool. So there's one more thing I want to do. I want to bring this content down a bit into the middle. And the way we can do that is by coming to the row, which is right here, and using an align class. So I can say align items and then center. And what that does is align all the items in the row in the center of the row like this vertically. So if I save this now, you'll notice it come down to the center. So again, this is just like Flexbox. So there we go, friends. That's the first section of the website done. That little bit of grid right there. Next up, we're going to work on the nav bar at the top.